Hi everyone, in this video I'll be demonstrating the debugging features of Eclipse. So here we've got a program where we've got a main method that has two variables p and q. It calls the method power. The method power takes in two parameters x and n and returns x to the power of n or at least what's, that's what it's supposed to do. The main method calls the method power with the parameters p and q, p being 2, q being 4, and stores the result in r. When we run the program, it says 2 to the power 4 equals 0, because obviously we've made some, made some mistakes in the method power. So rather than tracing it manually on a piece of paper, we can debug this program. Now debugging relies on placing breakpoints throughout the program. Breakpoints are simply pit stops. Wherever you place breakpoints, your program runs only till there. So we place breakpoints on lines 3. And the way you place a breakpoint is simply double clicking to the left of the line number. So if I double click here, it places a breakpoint there. Line number 4, 5, 9, 10, 11, and 13. So your program is going to run to the breakpoint and show the status of all the variables at that point of time. Then you click on this green little bug and it takes you into the debugging view. The two important components of debugging view are variables and the stack trace. It shows that right now we're in the main method on line number 3. You can click on this slow motion icon which is the resume button and it goes to the next breakpoint. Notice that when it reaches line number 4 P and Q are in the memory and their values are 2 and 4. If you continue again, it will jump from line 4 to line number 9 because there's a method call. So we jump from line number 4 to line number 9 and you can see that on the stack trace the main method has called power and now we are in the scope of this power 2 comma 4. Continue result becomes 0. i starts from 1. Is it less than n? Yes. Because it's less than n, the loop enters and result gets multiplied by x, which is 2. But as you can imagine, 0 times anything is 0, so nothing changes. So here we can see our first mistake, that result should not have been 0, it should have been 1. You can stop the execution and debug it again. Again, go from line 3 to 4 to 9. Result is 1. i is 1, it goes into the loop. Result gets multiplied by x, which is 2, so it becomes 2. i becomes 2. Is it less than n, which is 4? Yes, so result becomes 4. i becomes 3. Is it less than 4? Yes, so result becomes 8 i becomes 4. Is 4 less than 4? No. So it returns the result which is 8. You can see that when the method returns the value, the power method call has been taken off the stack. It's finished. When we continue again, the last statement is executed and it says 2 to the power 4 equals 8. You can see that I made another mistake over there in taking i till only less than n. So I can take i less than equal to n this time. If you're satisfied, you can always exit the debugging perspective and move to Java perspective by clicking on the Java perspective icon on the top right side. Now run the program normally and you get the right answer. 2 to the power 4 is 16. 
you can skip all the breakpoints as well if you want whenever you don't want to execute breakpoints you can skip all these breakpoints as well so that's how java's debugger works and it's very very handy in helping you identify what's the problem with your program thank you very much